Here we've got the Truvo Bosch multi-level surface pipe metal and cable detector. It's got a maximum scanning depth of about 70 millimeter for ferrous metals. For non-ferrous metals or your copper pipe, it's got a maximum scanning depth of about 60 millimeter. And for live copper conductors, it's got a depth of about 50 millimeter. Here we're going to install, you know, the batteries, um, you know, with their respective polarities into the measuring tool. Some safety tips would be to protect the measuring tool against moisture and direct sunlight. Do not subject the tool to extreme temperatures or temperature variations. Try to avoid heavy impact or the falling down of the measuring tool. Before switching the measuring tool on, make sure that the sensor area is not moist. Remove the batteries if you're not using the measuring tool for extended protracted periods. Perform a short self-test you know, prior to use. You know, the readiness of use is indicated when the signal or sensor area illuminates, okay? If it doesn't, replace the battery. When no cogent measurements have been carried out for approximately 10 minutes, the measuring tool switches off automatically in order to extend the service life of the batteries. Suffice to say, it switches off when the switch button is still in the on position. If it's switched off automatically, you know, just push the button back to the off position before switching it back on again, okay? If you want to use it. It's got three primary operating modes, the green, yellow, and red. The green essentially means that no object has been detected. The yellow means that the metal object is in the vicinity of the sensor. A small or low lying metal object within the sensor area, like the metal casing that we've got here, so you can hear the, the beeping sound, or an impairment of the sensor due to an unfavorable wall material. So, when this signal LED produces a red and continuous tone, it means that a metal object is detected within the sensor area, okay? And if it's red, uh, flashing fast, and you know, having an intermittent sound, then it means that a live wire or conductor has been detected, okay? So, basically, the signal LED lights up yellow and changes to red the closer it comes to a metal object. As soon as the signal LED lights up red, a signal tone is emitted, the pitch of which rises the closer it comes to the metal object. So basically, over a metal object, the signal LED um, lights up or illuminates red and a signal tone is emitted at maximum pitch. After moving over the surface the first time, the position of the metal object is only roughly indicated. If you then move or decide to move the measuring tool over the metal object several times, the object detection will become increasingly more precise. When scanning for live wires, always ensure that you hold the measuring tool firmly without gloves to enable a good grounding. Scaffolding and ladders must be grounded. Avoid ladders and scaffolding whose supports have plastic caps underneath them and do not wear insulating footwear. The measuring tool indicates wires which carry voltage between 110 volts and 240 volts and a frequency corresponding to the widely used standard which is 50 or 60 hertz AC or alternating current. It is a lot easier to find live cables if electricity consumers are connected to the cable being searched for and are switched on as well. It may not be possible to find live cables in certain conditions, you know, like behind metal surfaces or behind surfaces that are very dry or very damp. If the indicator lights up yellow or red over a large area, the material is electrically shielded and you will not be able to find live cables accurately. Other wires carrying direct current or DC or high and lower frequency or voltage, as well as non-live wires and conductors cannot be found reliably, but are possibly indicated as metal objects when using the measuring tool, okay? And you can see, you know, it might be picking up on the radiator, but as I move it further left, you know, it indicates that, you know, it's picking up on the live wire because it's flashing continuously red. When moving the measuring tool about, to avoid affecting the measurement, do not hold the measuring tool within the range of the sensor. This will enable you to obtain a more accurate measurement or result. And in terms of marking objects, you know, detected objects can be marked as required. So the outer edges of an object are indicated by the color change of the LED from yellow to red. So when it gets to red, 
um, you know you're at the outer edge you know of an object whereas the center of the metal object can be determined by the pitch so using a pen mark the sought after location at the top and the side marker aids if you have the signal LED continuously flashing green yellow or red when no metal object or live cable is in the vicinity the measuring device which is the trivial must be sent in for service but when the measuring tool illuminates or signals red or yellow when no metal is in the vicinity of the measuring tool or the trivo the tool must be calibrated or recalibrated okay to do this make sure that the measuring device is in the on position you know using the switch remove a battery from the switched on measuring device while the battery is removed switch the measuring device or the trivial off using the switch then subsequently reinsert the batteries into the measuring device whilst paying attention to its polarity then subsequently remove all objects in the vicinity of the measuring device um, including wristwatches or rings of metal and hold the measuring tool up in the air then switch the measuring device Truvo on using the switch and off again within three seconds the signal LED of the measuring device will flash red in slow succession during the three seconds to indicate that it's ready to calibrate then switch the measuring device back on within 0.5 seconds the calibration is initiated and takes about six seconds the signal LED will flash green for six seconds in quick succession which indicates that the calibration is being performed and once done the device is once more ready for operation and the signal LED illuminates or lights up solid green please note that the manual calibration was for demonstration purposes ideally the LED should flash green for six seconds in quick succession you know but during the calibration the LED illuminated solid green you know just about when we switch the measuring device back on within 0.5 seconds then flat screen for six seconds continuously because it wasn't in need of calibration but you get the hang of it you know as to how to perform a manual calibration if your um, LED illuminates red or yellow even when no metal is in the vicinity of the measuring tool and um, that is when you perform a recalibration but I just showed you this for demonstration purposes okay but do note that if the sequence of switching off then on again is not followed no calibration is performed the signal LED remains either yellow or red even though no metal is located within the vicinity in this case repeat the calibration okay and that's about it really don't forget to subscribe like and share helps the channel grow and hopefully catch up with you later goodbye bye now